It's been almost 20 years since jazz singer Melissa Walker founded Jazz House Kids as a way to get young people learning about and loving America's musical gift to the world. And anytime we get some jazz on Chatbox is a good day. Melissa Walker, I don't know if you remember, but you and I first met a thousand years ago. Dorthon Kirk walked you into the office and um, she introduced you and you were very nice to wave in my general direction while I was in the news cube there at WVGO. So welcome to, to Chatbox. Absolutely wonderful to see you, David. And of course, Dorothon is uh, known to bring many people together. Yes, indeed. So let's talk about Jazz House Kids. I mean, is it 20 years? Yeah, we are, we are on the precipice of, of uh, turning 20. And, 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 you know, Dorothon and WBGO is how Jazz House got its start. They asked me to do a program and come in and do something for young people two to two to 10 and all of their parents. And I thought that sounds like a frightening moment <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. And I thought about what I loved most about jazz. And that is the convening of people, all kinds of people. And so we decided to build our first jazz house. And here we are 20 years later. You can say a lot of things about a lot of different music, but when it comes to jazz, I mean, the essence of democracy is yeah. jazz. I mean, improvisers right. um, coming together uh, and bringing musical cohesion. That, by the way, also blows your mind. But yeah, I mean, that is it, right? And no, I mean, absolutely. I think that the essence of democracy is where all voices matter, but we're also going to work together and come up with a path and we're gonna to work together on that. And this is a place where you can have John Coltrane's voice matter and just like Cannonball Adderley, yet these two very distinct voices and they had a place in music, right? One's right in the pocket. One can be out, one can play with dissonance. One can play wow. right in the pocket of the music. And I think today, David, we don't have that place in life like we used to. Um, and that's what jazz is about. And we celebrate those different voices. And I, and again, I think that can sound overly simplified, but if you can celebrate those different voices and that is the essence of jazz. And so Ella Fitzgerald and, and Billie Holiday both were revered as our greatest singers, right? Yet very, very different places. And when you look at today's young people uh, that you have invited today, they're coming from very different places. And that's, that's the beauty, that's the democracy. And we feel that that's the future that we need to tap into. How do you keep kids focused on jazz as you know, almost an original art form of this country um, when they're faced with so many musical uh, uh, challenges out there? Yeah. You know, I think, first of all, you have to have access, right? And we need to make sure that all young people have this great American art form. You know, after 20 years of doing this very thing, every single day digging in to bring this music to young people, they like jazz because it's a place for them to discover themselves and to make a relationship with others and to be in dialogue with others. So oftentimes people would say, really, they like jazz? I'm like, come to the jazz house, come into our in-school programs. It doesn't matter what neighborhood, this music has something for them. I haven't found a young person yet in 20 years that this music doesn't speak to. It doesn't mean that they're not gonna go on and, and play rock and, and do any kind of other things and be a rapper and, and, and all of that. But when they come and experience jazz, they grow as an artist and as a musician. In, in, in ways that are invaluable for life. We just feel that when you build musicians, the world is a better place. Well, uh, you know, you and I could sit here and talk about jazz uh, <laughs> the whole day. We're running out of time. I wanted to get uh, a couple of fine examples of what happens when uh, kids make their way through Jazz House Kids. Here is uh, Birsa Chatterjee and Gallo Inga, who are joining us from down the hall, I think, right? Hey guys. Hi, how's it going? Good. 
Birsa, you are a, a, a graduate and alumnus of Jazz House Kids. How'd you get into the program and, and where has it led you? Well, I started fairly young. Um, I picked up the clarinet in middle school through school band. And I, was, I always had an affinity towards music, a, a deep love towards it. And um, my mom found out about Jazz House Kids. We lived in Montclair. I grew up here. And so she took me to the classes one Wednesday. And, um, and that's kind of how it started, just in, uh, during the school year, taking some improvisation classes, some ensemble classes. And then what really sparked my interest was the summer workshop that Jazz House puts together every summer where kids from all over the country, and now it's even blossomed to international students get together for a two week intensive program. And the, the level of community and camaraderie uh, in that summer workshop, those two weeks every year that I went, just really made me love this music so, so much. And uh, I can't see myself doing anything else. Gallo, how was uh, your experience? Did you come as a jazzer or did you become a jazzer after arriving? Yes, I became a jazzer after arriving. So my story is a little different than Beer says. I went to Newark Arts High School uh, here in, uh, in New Jersey and um, we had one of our instructors. So we have a in-school program that, that we do in, um, in the district of Newark, Patterson, Elizabeth. So I was one of those students. So we had one of the instructors come into our school and sort of uh, teach us about jazz music, the foundation of jazz music, the values and all the things that you learn through this music. And then through that program, I was able to start coming to uh, Jazz House here in Montclair. Um, then, you know, as Birsa mentioned, the summer workshop was pretty much the definitive experience for me where I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to make sure that everyone around us uh, have an understanding of what jazz music is and continue to help children, um, you know, who've never really experienced this music before. I love it. Um... You guys are going to play us out uh, with something here. Birsa uh, Chatterjee, is this your composition? Yeah, so this is something I wrote recently. Um, it's, uh, you know, it was over the pandemic. Um, you know, I was kind of at a low point emotionally. And the title is called Thank You for Unanswered Prayers. And it basically just talks about the idea of how many times, in, at least in my life, certain events happen that I really, in the moment, are really painful and I wish never happened, but after getting the perspective of a few years, you realize that those kind of moments are the moments that really shape you and shape your character and who you are. So it's a little tribute to, to moments like that in my life. All right, Birsa Chatterjee uh, and Gallo Inga, gonna play us out. Mm-hmm. 
I love it. Birsa Chatterjee and Gallo Inga, thank you so much. Great performance. Thank you, guys. And Melissa Walker, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much.